Tuesday, the worst day of the week. People think it's Monday, but they're too scared to admit the truth. No, it's Tuesday for sure, because Tuesday is the start of migration season. In the space of a few days, all the animals move from one part of the jungle to another. Is it instinct? A subtle shift in the Earth's magnetic field? No. It's because Mother Nature is dumb. And even with George's constant vigilance, the jungle borders on total chaos. George, maybe next time you could make a bridge for the ants? Oh, oh I turn right at Bottomless Pit, then left at Temple of Doomy Badness. Hey, jerk termites! Look how tiny you all are! Stomp! Stomp! <laughs> Hey, big Chicago, go be big somewhere else, okay? Make me. Mm. That tickles. Where are you? Get out of there. That's private property. George! George, wake up. Behold what your napping has wrought. Eh? Oh. George, sorry. George just missed fighting villains and crazy rescues. I know it's a grind, but managing migration season is very important and <coughs> serious work. Hey, maybe Ape take over migration duty so George can... Even the boring work is part of being a king, George. <gasps> Ape, hear that? Danger! Come right back when you're done. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. long neck horses should watch where they walk. There. Yep. George having that kind of day. Can horses go tell it to grow? <laughs> so this what on other side of quicksand? And thus, George discovered the shadow jungle. Hey, Sky Voice, what shadow jungle? I was getting to that. It's an entirely separate jungle existing parallel to our own, with its own shadow animals. Ooh, lying, Stricky Horse! <laughs> and its own shadow George. Glaborny! Wow! Watch me! Watch me! Doof Nab! And thus, a deep bond of friendship was forged. Tough nap, Lua Kimcha. Shadow George have own shadow ape. Tough nap, Lua Kuma. And Shadow Magnolia. Um, hey, where's Shadow Ursula? Whoa. It's Animal in danger. <laughs> <laughs> Shadow George, welcome. Oh, but George need go back home. Migration season. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. Shadow George have migration season too. Oh, Partini Baffin flap. And so George learns that the Shadow Jungle doesn't have migration season. Instead, there's Partini Baffin flap, the time of buttering, when it is the Shadow King's duty to butter every animal in the Shadow Jungle. But if the animals don't get their butter, they go butter zerk. Hey, look! Shadow Chicago and Shadow Caspid! Ha poo poo! Please, 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 please! Can George stop them? Hey, George handle exciting Shadow Jungle and Shadow George handle migration! Please! George even handle time of buttering! Um, 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 um. Gently, gently. I haven't fully tested the sand suit. George, I was about to come after you. George, did you by any chance change color? Blimp palm? And you've forgotten how to talk. Again. Good thing I didn't throw away those flashcards. Oh, come on! George! More migration trouble. <laughs> You're full of surprises today. <laughs> yeah! yeah. <laughs> oh, hope Shadow George having much fun too. Keep 
migrating, sister. This habitat is taken. Vagulo dippy dippy. That's creative. Blug, blug, blug. This George is kind of eruption. Partini Baffum Flap. Hi, Shadow Ape. Come to see Bubbles? Partini Baffum Flap. Time of buttering now. Oh boy. Which Shadow Ape tell George hour ago? One hour ago. Mm -hmm. George can't help it. George a butter man. <laughs> A go -go -broop. What Shadow Ape mean only have one butter? Yes, Shadow Ape only have one butter. Patini baff and flap, patini baff and flap. For the Shadow Jungle, butter is a once in a thousand year event. Patini baff and flap! Amazing! Dojo <laughs> Grandma! Mulva! Mulva! Okay! George gets Shadow George! <laughs> Shadow George! Uh, Shadow George! Come on! Need butter! Zoo, no, no. George, no, Shadow George, tired, but Partini baff him! <laughs> George, so sorry for making you take over! There! Shadow George, wake up! Shadow animals go butter zerk. George needs butter real bad. Huh? Ah! Shadow George! Ah! Hey, George know why George scream, but why jungle scream? George, it's horrible. Hey, you changed color again. Ape, focus. And you can talk. Oh, right. Yeah, it's terrible! It's a marmot! Hey, marmot not terrible. Okay, George admits that one pretty bad. But it's just shadow marmot. Did you say shadow marmot? Nothing. George say nothing. George handle it. Gotcha! George, care to explain what's going on? George do bad thing. George go to Shadow Jungle and switch with Shadow George, but now Shadow George broken and Shadow Jungle go butter zerk. <laughs> and George no find butter. No butter for George. And hopeless. Where are you, butter? I didn't understand any of that, but you know you can just make butter, right? George can make butter? Ha poo poo! Partini baff and flap! Ha poo poo! Uh, George, why does that ape look just like me? Ah! George, where have you been? The migration is a disaster! <laughs> Who the banana is that? Moonla? George! George? Wait here! George fix everything with butter! George? George! That is the freakiest thing I've ever... And so, with two worlds in the balance, George corrects his mistakes. Patini Baba Flap! Patini Baba Flap! Patini Baba Flap! Through the power of butter. Patini Baba On this. There! 
Fertini Baffin Flap and migrations all done. All with the magic of butter. Good work, George. And thank you for introducing us to our other selves. Baz Flap. What Shadow Jungle do without Shadow George? Moontha. <laughs> Nummies! Shadow George! Oh, is there anything Butter can't do? No, George, I guess there isn't. Jololo! Cock and doof! Jololo, cock and doof! Oh, must you be going already? Oh, that's sweet. George, get the biggest boulder you can find and plug the bit. But there it. Did you see how messed up they are? Do it! Do it now! And so our heroes plugged the hole and never spoke of the shadow jungle again. Welcome to the jungle. Let's take a journey and explore this endlessly sprawling natural wonderland. Or we could see what's going on here. Give it up, monkey man! You'll never catch me! George used Turbo Vine! There's no such thing! Shh, no listen. That's why he bad, Doctor. Uh, laser Razor! Potato Gun! Running out of gadgets! Uh -huh. ah! Sandwich blaster! Uh, okay. I guess that's just my lunch. <laughs> well, what do you know? <laughs> Note to self, carry more sandwiches! <laughs> Bear dryer! Silly weapon! Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! Shh. Shh. <laughs> you! You're the one who eats dirt. Oh, it's over for us. Uh, hi, Ursula. Sorry for waking. Doctor? What Ursula just eat? I don't know. I carry a lot of stuff, okay? <laughs> oh, so that's what it was. She ate my Erupto Link! <laughs> uh, what it do? It lets you use the volcano as a weapon, you idiot! Okay, no problem, no problem. George, just pull it out. <laughs> <laughs> what we do now? <laughs> Um, George, not sure if Ursula catch what doctors say, but if Ursula tries to calm, it'd be big help to George. Ape ah! <laughs> know what to do. Abandon jungle. Abandon jungle. <laughs> you're right. You're right. Okay, let's think about this. Until we figure out how to get the remote control out of Ursula, we must keep her calm. George agree. <laughs> so George invite Ursula for calm dinner party. George! <laughs> what? George no see problem. <laughs> George see problem. <laughs> no! <laughs> Oh. Ursula hate food. She no pronounce. Horse 
Nerves? No, no nerves. It's French. They're just mini sandwiches. Mini sandwiches! French? Now you sad, like Ursula's tummy with no food in it! <laughs> no worry, George brings salad! <laughs> Ursula, help Selby! <laughs> We need to try something else. Uh, a perfect idea to keep Ursula not mad. Yeah. <laughs> so, George, visualize punching bag as source of frustration. Hey, Tree, why are you be in George's way all time? What George ever do to you, Tree? <laughs> See? Visualize. No, wait! Ursula! George not! You write this big George, we're running out of options. George, see? <laughs> We've tried reasoning with <laughs> Ursula, but that <laughs> hasn't worked. There's only one <laughs> option. Send her to space? Okay, there's two options. <clears throat> About time Jungle apologized to Ursula. <laughs> huh? Excellent. Now, George. George? <laughs> You hid in the cake, didn't you? Mm -hmm. Oh, it'll come out. Everything comes out. Eventually. We need to get that remote control out of Ursula. We know can wait for eventually. She hot lava angry all the time. Well, here's your problem. She set on grouchy. Ah! What? Her emotion switch. It's on mad. Ah, George understand. George no understand. This'll clear things up. I'll add it to your bill. I'm Groovy Gorilla, here to give you the lowdown about that switch on your back. First, you have a switch on your back. Second, you have a switch on your back. Even me? Even you, Tommy. Even George, weird gorilla? It's a film, George. Even you, George. Psst, that crazy. <laughs> George and Ape know have switches on back. The most important thing about these switches is you must never, ever tamper with them. If you do, peace out. George, I don't know about this. George not know about most things. Oh. Oh. Best pal George! Best friend A! Ursula love everyone! Once again, George fix everything. That's novel. <laughs> Ursula go make up for lost odds! Hello, <laughs> Mr. Lion. That weird. The volcano isn't spewing lava. It's spewing some kind of rainbow love -a. Lava? Best name Ape could think up. Might be okay. Jungle be friendlier place. Up top, Eight Eyes. Well, it's not the first time we've played God. There! George, make new animal! <laughs> Big hugs for Hippo! 
George, I don't often say this, but you are absolutely right to flip Ursula's switch. Ah, oh, ape. No, I mean it, George. I had my misgivings about the plan, but... Ape! And as Aristotle once said... Ape! So, in conclusion... Ape! George, you were wrong to flip Ursula's switch. So very wrong. This is worse than the lava. Hey, right. George fixed this once already, so George fix it again. Hug for George? <laughs> so? George believe Abe say something earlier about panic? Indeed. <laughs> wait, wait. George have one last idea, but it mean George go into dark place. Anyone? Ursula ready for more hugs now? Hello? Why jungle no one hugs? George want hugs? No. What? No, thank you. But Ursula give good hugs. No hug for George, okay? You get hugged now. No want Ursula stinky hug. <laughs> Stinky hug! Yeah, Ursula hugs all stinky. That why animals climb into ball and try to get away. Tell her, Ape. Um, I neither would like your malodorous embrace. Your hugs are smelly and dumb. <laughs> Again, George solved problem. Uh, hi, Ursula. <laughs> Sorry for changing Ursula personality. Forgive? <laughs> Life in the jungle is never easy. But for George, some days are harder than others. Smashing job, George. Nearly got it. Well, uh, George really used hand here, eh? Sorry, George. As your mentor, I feel it's my role to supervise. <laughs> Come up, crispy skin. <laughs> Ow. Meet George Snake! Droll, George. Very droll. While this looks like a joke to you and me, to a mongoose, the natural enemy of snakes, this just isn't funny. <laughs> growl, growl. Squeak, squeak. Oh, I'm sorry, George. My mongoose is a bit rusty. Nope. Not funny at all. There. All better. Now, George, return you to herd. Ursula Wild Girl, so mean. Why does the sun come up? Why is the sky blue? Why is Ursula so mean? Some things have no answer. <laughs> Ooh, that looks like it hurts. No touching! Magnolia! It's horrible! That tickles! Ah, Magnolia okay? Animals, I need them to trust me. <laughs> and nothing builds trust like a good tickling. <laughs> <laughs> George, these crocs are excellent ticklers. <laughs> what George doesn't know is that while crocs love tickling, Tickle. they hate Tickle. being tickled. <laughs> George? <laughs> Oh my gosh! That croc just ate George! <laughs> we should <laughs> do something! <laughs> he needs our help! <laughs> oh. Oh, phew. Why can't 
can't George be mentor or wild girl or do science thingy sometime? Why not indeed? Who said that? Uh, Lancy talk? Oh, I can do more than just talk. I'm a hypno lotus. You can help George try be someone else? Just introduce me to these someone else's, and it'll be a pleasure. What? Take me to your friends. Okay. <laughs> George loved laughing. <laughs> uh, what funny again? We all here. George wants you to meet new planty friends. Ah! Hypno Lotus! Get rid of it before! Uh. Huh. George thought Ape say something. No, no, no. Now, get a good night's sleep, Jungle King. Tomorrow's your first day as a mentor. Uh, uh. Today, George tells someone else what to do. Wonder who knew Jungle King. Ah! Ah! <laughs> Good morning, Jungle King Ursula. It's me, your mentor. Ah! No good morning. <laughs> now, Ursula, as mentor, George feel that. Ah! 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 <laughs> Ursula, help! Stop! Use wisdom of mentor, George. Okay. George, ow! Not ow! Good at ow! Yes. Ah! Jungle King Ursula, go see! Ah! 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 Ursula, Miss Fun! <laughs> Wild Girl Magnolia, okay? Do I look okay? I hate living outside! I'm allergic to mud. There's bugs in my ears. And when I try to roar, it hurts my throat! Good. Big one's juicy. That is my tenth one today. Why? Why would I ever be a wild girl? <laughs> I don't understand! <laughs> Hey, anybody see Ape? It's me, Mentor, Ursula Jungle King, and Magnolia Wild Girl, then Ape. Oh, ape! Ape! Aw, George thought he had brain answer. Why did I do that? I'm sorry. Hey, stop! Bad Freedom Jungle! Ursula, mean Jungle King. <laughs> Magnolia not happy as Wild Girl. George, bad mentor. And now George lose ape. Aww, that's terrible news. Um, what that? Let's mix things up again. George, time for you to go wild. <laughs> <laughs> Wild girl George better than mentor George. <laughs> oh, breakfast. Hey now, what you doing? Wild girl George hunt mighty water buffalo. Oh, you gotta want it, son. George, fierce. I've heard better roars from a sloth. That one in particular. <laughs> Terrible wild girl! Ah, oh, sorry, bud. No hard feelings. Here, take a bite. It'll be our little secret. Mm-hmm. What Ursula doing? Science! Uh. Ursula, stop! No, wait. George, not King Jungle. Hey, we're Jungle King. What's the problem, George? Being wild girl hard, and George lose ape and magnolia. 
talk? Of course, plant talk. Wait, that weird? Ursula, no like talking plant. Time for science! George, sure that's not right. Relax, George. Why don't we change it up one more time? But... Uh, time for George to science. George, make life better with science. There, science play machine thingamadoodle. George loves science, but science no love George. George not good wild girl either. Or mentor, all very hard. No, George best as king, king of jungle. George still got it. George want to put things back normal. Uh -huh. What? Hey, we're friends. Search me, buddy. Wait. If George was mentor, George would say something smart now. Yes. George would. Use brain, George. Think. George. Think, friend, on vacation. Oh, this is too painful. I'm eating them, okay? <laughs> Bad talky plant. <laughs> George, unleash wild girl, George. George no need escape when George have science. George makes special dinner for good friends. Lotus salad for everyone. This is a surprise, George. What's the occasion? No more thinking, fighting buffaloes, or science explosions. Being king, best job for George. That's a wonderful, George, but none of us have any idea what you're talking about. And why is Ursula's half-digested hair in my salad? <laughs> oh, my gosh. I'm gonna... Ah! Ursula, unmouth Magnolia this instant! Yep, things all back to normal. The Mighty Jungle King, seen here making his famous triple bean chili, wants nothing more than to help his jungle. I like to help, too. The salt's over there, George. Thanks, Magic Voice. But sometimes, even George's best efforts can bring about the very jungle chaos he seeks to quell. For example, saving jungle lobsters from a dried-up pool is a noble act. Ow. Oh. Uh... But a hasty move on George's part ruins a jungle penguin pool party. And dooms the penguins to a slow, sun-baked extinction. When an extra small giraffe can't reach extra delicious leaves, the jungle shirtless hero swings into action. George helped little stretchy horse. But leaves don't just feed giraffe. He's right, George. The leaves hide those monkeys from tree tigers. Uh... And so, after trying to help, but only making things worse... Chili almost ready for George. Sorry about mistakes he makes Chili Cave sleepover. That's very thoughtful, George. <laughs> That's very terrible, George. How could you put so many beans in that chili? And then eat it all yourself? And then make that smell! <laughs> oh, it's stuck in my nose! Oh. 
George not mean to make bad smelly. George, go feel sad alone. <gasps> George, wait! It wasn't that bad. Much better! The Jungle King knows his mistakes ruined a penguin pool party, got a bunch of monkeys eaten, stunk the heck out of a cave. Okay, okay. George, no problem's all George's fault. Be quiet, Sky Voice. <laughs> Sounds like you have had a rough day, buddy. Who talk? Sky Voice again? No, no, I'm just a guy telling another guy, hey. Don't blame yourself. It wasn't your fault. Really? George make many mistakes. Nah, you just got things right the wrong way. Other people might understand that if you dressed a little better. Shiny! <laughs> Aren't I? <laughs> My name's Balzac, and I was made for a body like yours. Try me on. Wait, why talking loincloth want George to have new loincloth? Because you deserve it. And because I'm very, very sparkly. Okay. <sighs> beware! Oh, beware what? This loincloth! <sighs> George Ford. <laughs> oh, comes with pocket! <coughs> Hey, that's my mouth. George, sorry, Balzac. You probably think a talking loincloth is pretty weird. George, okay with it. All right, then. Hey, do a loincloth a favor and open that tiny little door over there. Whoa. George, creepy. George, no, no. Okay, fair point. Tell you what, let's take your new loincloth out for a spin first. Yeah! He's evil. Two of wishing these boring elephants would do something not boring. George, help! Be more fun, elephants! <laughs> All kind elephant stuff, see now. George, don't flatten half the jungle! <laughs> whoa, whoa, this isn't your fault. Those elephants should be harder to scare. It's not George's fault? Who would you rather listen to, a scientist or your underwear? Are you wearing sequins? <sighs> Another hundred thousand or so trips and the lobsters will be ready to move right back in. George, fix dry pond, make more water come. Dare I ask how? And what are you wearing? George, make big river come this way. Pond will be super wet soon. Now, maybe. Oh, no. George, you didn't fix the pond. You flooded everything else instead. Um, sorry, ape. Big wet mistake. George fixed. Hey, who let the river get so big? Someone else really dropped the ball here. Who dropped ball? Who cares? It's not your fault. Who are you talking to? Loincloth. Oh, uh, of course. George, did you eat the orangutan's sacred banana? <laughs> banana, banana shouldn't, shouldn't taste, taste so good. good. You threw away the magic boomerang? Should have come back. You ate the Giganticonda's lunch so it had zebras instead? Snake should have made, made two sandwiches. I was just... <laughs> George, no, it looked bad. But why blame George? <laughs> you sure not all your fault? <laughs> George, wish everyone is nice to George's butt mouth. It's not their fault, pal. They just need to relax. Hey, I know how you can help your buddies. Yeah, George just want help. Big door still creepy, and old sloth looks scared. Old people are always scared. Your friends need relaxing, supportive undergarments like me. Then they'll stop blaming you for everything. Balzac very soft on bottom. 
Make George feel good about George. Then crack that door open and make your friends feel good about themselves, too. Now what? George done here? <laughs> you are free, brother! Let us weave our loom and doom with every synthetic fiber of our being. <laughs> George think that laugh sound a little too evil. Coffee! Don't keep stuffing me! That important? You've opened the fitting room of forever and released the underworld underwear. <laughs> <laughs> it has begun. It cannot be unbegun. Our elastics will lay waste to every waste. Our thermals will smother and stifle. We want to wear you. You will be filled with holes and thrown away! You will get stuck in a tight, dark place for eternity! Hey, why you ruin bananas like that? Because if I don't squish them, these squish me! Tiny paints, very bad! Help George stop them all! I'd love to, George, but I don't think I can. Okay, okay! I'm doing it. Observed in its natural habitat, underwear is clearly superior to people. Oh, this is nonsense! Ow, 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 okay, okay, um, um, they should never be worn again, and instead, we should let them wear us. Magnolia, evil undies up to no good! Use science to stop them! I wish I could! Underwear on a head is supposed to be hilarious! <laughs> oh, George, halt! Come on, that old sloth took way too long to warn you. Blame him. No, George listened to butt milk too much. George, take blame and take off undies. Give it your best shot. I'm a perfect fit. We all are. And we're never coming off. Right. Then George, get all you undies in bunch. That was horrible. George, what are you doing? George, get covered in undies and seal himself in vault. Undies trapped, jungle safe. Stop! Mm. Hey, I'm squeezing things pretty tight. Why aren't you stopping? Uh, pain of big mistake more than pain in underwear places. George, there has to be another way. You'll starve inside the vault. That's called responsibility, George Think. George, don't blame yourself. This is all my fault. So let me loose. No! What is that? George fill up on chili so he survive until lunchtime. Get off of him now! A man done cut! George, you were willing to trap yourself in there to save the rest of us. Yeah, was right thing to do. It all George fault. He admit making boo-boos in future. Deal? Uh, why nobody make eye contact with George? We need to find your old loincloth. <laughs> the jungle needs help. A stinky fog of unknown origin is infecting everyone. Big, small, handsome, <coughs> even me. But not to worry. George is on the case with, <coughs> with his best friend, Ape. I'm going to lie down for a minute. George used Kigley's sets of spell to find source of sticky stick. And I will use something that actually works. A gas detector. Uh, this way, eh? Huh? Oh, spell come from Swamp. It's stinky, all right, but not stinky enough. 
A dreadful bouquet, but still not the souls. Oh, day after sloth party! As foul as they are, it's not the sloths. No, this awful gas is coming from over there. Ah, home sweet home. <laughs> it's coming from your <laughs> pile of garbage. What garbage? Your pile of garbage in the corner. That corner? No. That corner? No. That corner? No. That corner? No. That corner, the fifth one, hidden by your pile of garbage. Dumpy! Dumpy talk garbage. Dumpy, beautiful, hot, stinky pile of memories. In fact, it's true. Peel back the layers of Dumpy, and you'll find a history of George. Bits of his first vine, bits of his face from hitting his first tree, every toast crust, every banana peel, every mail order purchase, every embarrassing loincloth, everything. Ah, Dumpy leak gas from Stinkle. Need plug hole? Problem solved. George, you have to throw that. Uh, Dumpy. Out. It's making the entire jungle sick. Here's a mop and a bucket, but I strongly urge you use the flamethrower. It's the only way to be sure. But Dumpy got inside! I know this festering pile of disgusting trash means a lot to you, but some keepsakes are just garbage. I'll quarantine everyone under Mount Jungleton for the weekend. That gives you three days to get rid of Dumpy. Godspeed and good luck. Okay. George, you can do this. You go now, Dumpy. George don't want you around no more. <laughs> go! <laughs> My string collection! High string tie, high string bean, high science string theory! <laughs> oh, Duffy! Me not ready to let you go! <laughs> okay, villains on the left, wild animals on the right. And if you're not sure which you are, I'm looking at you, Shady Sloth. Choose whichever side you like. Don't worry, everybody. We won't be here long. George knows what to do. <laughs> Dumpy, me not know what to do. Mud fight or bungee jump? Bungee? Yay! <laughs> One last weekend of fun with Dumpy and George. <laughs> oh, Duffy, you know me so good. Oh, me feel same way. Hmm, there's something else George's supposed to do this weekend. Oh, yeah, take out garbage. Bye-bye, <laughs> garbage. Oh, no. Oh, no! Hi, Dumpy, quick! <laughs> No, 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 no! Hey, check closet for sure! George, hide you better! Most dangerous valley and jungle! No one look for Dumpy here! Be safe here, Dumpy. Be strong and no worry. George be back soon to bring you home. George, promise. I'm proud of you, George. There's no sign of garbage at all. Or our closet, which is odd. Yep, <laughs> memory's all gone. Okay, you go too now. Take vacation. <laughs> Bye! But, George, we have coconut inventory to do today. Today? Wa, ba, uh, okay, uh, we do now. <laughs> <gasps> Hello? George? George counts super fast. One cocoa. Whoa! Oh, help me, okay. Finish count now. He said he'd come back. He said he, he loved me. Any time now.
Jumpy! Sorry me late! Jumpy! Jumpy! George! And that might have been that. Two weirdos yelling into the night. Except that pile of garbage had other ideas. <laughs> well... What's wrong, George? Normally you love doing coconut inventory. And also, where were you for the last month and a half? <laughs> That's not an answer. Dr. Chicago? <laughs> George, here's something I cooked up just for you. Bad you butter missile go! Mm, it is badger butter. But how, Dr. Chicago, discover your secret allergy? Oh, <laughs> 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 Hold me back, George! Hold me back! <laughs> I know, right? Now, did you hear about the time George mistook his loincloth? For a lion claw? <laughs> but me never tell anybody that. Or when he baked a cake for Abe's birthday, and the cake was terrible. <laughs> George almost forget that. <laughs> cake tastes like dirt. George, he's trying to demean you. <laughs> if George can no laugh itself, George can no laugh. <laughs> or, uh, when George tried to take a bath by eating soap and drinking shampoo, <laughs> who does that? <laughs> I'll do more! More! George! I... George! 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 But how did he know all those secrets about you? How indeed? Dumpy! Dumpy? No more silence! This isn't what's supposed to happen at all! Wow! You grow wise! Neat! Good for you! Hug time! No! No more hugs! You abandoned me! Left me to die out there in the filthy jungle! Uh, Technically, Dumpy not alive, then. Quiet! I'm all your memories and you throw me away! George, what's Dumpy doing here? Uh, George gets he a little upset? You have to get rid of him! For real this time! But Dumpy's still good inside! Me show you! Not everything is worth keeping, George. Sometimes it's just garbage. George, sorry he leave you in jungle. Stop with the hugs! Remember good times, Dumpy? See? Maybe, maybe I was wrong. George, I, I, I'm sorry. Yeah, ape right. Now, George, get better look. You mostly just garbage. Sanitize him! Get back! Me know there one last good memory inside you, Dumpy. I'll turn into compost, grow into a tree, get turned into packaging, get thrown out again, come back to life, and avenge myself! I'll be back in 30 or 40 years! There! All clean now. Ah, uh, good. Good work, George. One question. What was the good memory at Dumpy's core? Me never forget first soother ape give George when George a baby. Oh, George. Me keep it forever. Ah, gross. Well, Dumpy gone. Story over. Uh, actually, there may be a few loose ends to tie up.
George of the jungle. So kind, he makes the rest of us look bad. Aww. George's only reward? The warm, fuzzy feeling he gets from making a difference. Hey, Snake! No crush slot! Have sharp teeth. Ow! Happy sloth, get time out. <laughs> maybe white stripey sloth angry because he have no friends. Or maybe he's just a horrible person. Even jerk sloth need friends. <gasps> Aha! George, befriend and melt cold sloth heart. Um, you better hurry. Again. George, take Hypervine! It's too dangerous. We haven't completed testing. It's not only death! George? <laughs> Maybe Vine go too fast. Ah! Holy bananas! Ah, hello, Sky Voice! Explain what's going on, please. Error. Sky Voice not found. I am narrator 5.0. Uh, okay. Uh, where, George? A recent Mach 12 impact caused you to quantum shift 200 years into the future. Oh, okay. Makes sense. <laughs> hey! Hey, baby, baby, baby! Oh, George, so happy to see you! Hey! Who the laser are you? What? Me, George. Best friend, king of jungle. Wear loincloth. Hey, Junior, 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 what's for dinner? Whoa! Far out? Who's the caveman? Lizard if I know Magnolia for. He says he's... <gasps> Wait, it can't be. I'll be lasered. You're real. I thought the stories about you were pure fiction. <laughs> yeah, no one could possibly survive hitting that many trees. <laughs> Hard head help. My great 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 grandfather took this photo before you mysteriously disappeared 200 years ago. Whoa! Our crazy future must be freaking you out. But nothing much different. Except sunglasses and jetpacks. Sure, but if you'd landed only 100 years in the future, it would have looked like this. Talk about an unsustainable lifestyle. The great hipster migration of 2120 led to our current retro jungle era. Oh, <laughs> George understand completely. Oh! <laughs> Of course, there have been other changes. For example, I have evolved to a higher plane. Hello, bowler hat and monocle. And I implanted the entire internet in my brain. Ask me anything. Uh, what is internet? According to Jungle Wiki, it's pudding. Actually, I don't think that. It's in my head! Future Jungle Progressive. Who king now? George like to meet him. Him do great job. The Ape Council never replaced you. Ah, because George irreplaceable. No, because everything was fine. Jungle fine without George? Jungle no need king? 
George thought he helped Jungle, but George only fooling George. There, there, caveman brain. <gasps> Nightfall comes! But night come every day. <gasps> we have to go now! Be okay. Sun come back tomorrow! Get out of my way, Slowpoke! Hey, <laughs> wait! Every animal for <laughs> themselves! <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! That was too close! What is. Shh! They'll hear you! Who will? Here, George. Shh. Hmm. <gasps> Santa Claus coming? Phew. We're dead. The decoy. Jungle all smiles and fun. It's laserific during the day. Just don't go out at night, or they'll get you. <laughs> Junior ape. Whew, tough luck, but at least we made it. Am I right? No, Magnolia wrong. Future Jungle not okay without George. Jungle need George. No, 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 no! Wait! <laughs> if it's okay with you, I'll just wait on the surface. Maybe in Guatemala. Magnolia in past always help others. Great! Just what I need in an ancestor. A goody two-shoes show off! <gasps> Wait, Stripey! George meet Mighty Sloth in past. Old friends. He taught all the other sloths how to be evil and cruel and eat the land walkers above! Huh. And apparently he was a huge pudding fan. Gary Knight things aren't sloths? <laughs> it's easy! Sloths super sloths! Oh yeah! Jetpack! Help! Hold on, Magnolia! Hold on, Ape! <laughs> <laughs> Here, for the first time in generations, we can enjoy a beautiful jungle night. <gasps> it's okay! Moon is friend! Mother Nature's nightlight! And according to Jungle Wiki, it's made of pudding! <laughs> What's wrong, George? You look like your favorite laser just died. Oh, George missed friends from past. While I would love if you remained here with us, perhaps as a way to return our friend to his proper time? Okay, but we're gonna need even more jetpacks and a whole lot of pudding. Goodbye, future friends! Goodbye, Goodbye George! George! <laughs> <laughs> Three. Hey, 
snake! No press lock! Oh, hi, me! Uh, don't you want to know why me here? We must stop terrible future! White stripey sloth, not just bitey, he evil mean, so we... Oh, uh, never mind. Um, George have story to tell George. And life returned to normal for our hero. Until one night... <laughs> George, wake up! The future needs you again! It's the lemurs this time! They discovered black holes! Uh, you go! This George is sleepy. Uh, okay, okay. George, help. Good luck, George. Once and future king of the jungle.